What's Gucci and the Coochie, my fellow Americans? Today, we're coming at you with a solo Temporos guide where you can get eight, that's right, eight permits per try. So let's get into it. And don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And turn on bell notifications. All right, so basically, first thing first, as soon as we get in here, we run to a fishing spot and catch some motherfucking fish. Uh, so after we catch some of these fish, we're gonna wait for the um, jumping fish spot to pop up. You'll see it here soon. Usually it happens, it's a few seconds after the energy hits 100%, the jumping fish spot will pop up. So you'll see it right here, it pops up. I head on over there. I already got about a, a half inventory of the fish here. It takes 20 fish to uh, drain the energy for the boss, 20 cooked fish. So what you basically wanna do is fill up your inventory as quickly as you can, and then we'll run to the totem and cook them as soon as inventory is full. But after the first spot, the wave will come in and it's always in the same order. You fish, wave comes in, wave comes in, fire, fish, wave, fire, fish. So here we go, we tie up to that. Uh, and what you wanna do is make sure it's not damaged after you tie up to it, spam click the, the, t the uh, I don't even know what that's called, shrine, you cook your fish at the shrine, uh, and, and wait for the fires. All right, so now all our fish are cooked, fires are going down. We're only going to put out the ones in our way because a wave's going to come again. Let's put out that fire. I like putting out the one on the ship too because sometimes it jumps on top of you and that shit's annoying as fuck. Uh, so the mast was damaged. I repaired the mast. I douse the fire, the wave's gonna come soon. I start cook, uh, loading the fish up into the cannon. All right, so this is where it changes up a bit. So usually in the public lobbies where there are a bunch of people, you see them all go and attack Temporos because uh, he's vulnerable. Me, instead, I go fishing. Uh, and you probably noticed um, in the fast forwarded area back there, uh, after the wave went through, I went ahead and refilled my buckets. And I suggest doing this. I like doing it because uh, there are going to be more fires. So I just refill it to make sure I've got enough buckets, enough water for the fire. Um, and then you go right back to fishing instead of this. This is free fishing. There's going to be no waves, going to be no clouds, no fires to hit you while he's going up. So you can get like half an inventory, two thirds of an inventory done before his energy is even all the way back up. Uh, a few seconds after his energy is back up, you find another double fishing spot, finish that up, and then you cook the fish. This round, the second round is super fast, super fast. You get a huge head start on it. All right, we got all our fish cooked again. I uh, got them all loaded up in the cannon. Now we're going to attack it. So when I attack it, I don't want to attack it all the way. I'll take it down maybe 60, 55% health. And then I go back to fishing again. Um, Cause you do about 70% of the damage, 75% of the damage when you start at the beginning. Uh, if you were to do that the first round, so you can get away that much. So before it gets down to there, I go back and start fishing again, get a little bit of a head start on it uh, so that I can beat the storm. Just a little bit of efficiency. Uh, I know there's a much faster way to do this or a much better way where you can get like 14 points, you can get over 10K points on this but it includes a lot more steps like you got to go up and drop the fish you have to double load it on the third round and honestly um i haven't learned it entirely yet and i'm probably not going to because i'm too lazy to do that but <laughs> but we got it this way so see how the energy uh it's still going up health was about 44 percent i got some fish already in my inventory before he's even healed all the way so All right, and we're almost done here. As you can see, we have over 6,000 points. I believe this run was like a 6,600 point run. It got me eight points. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. Honestly, when I'm playing solo, it's a lot easier for me to not get hit by fire because I'm not distracted by everyone else running around. Uh, so I, I prefer playing solo. And if you're playing in the other groups, they're not gonna not attack on the first round because everyone wants to attack it. And even sometimes they'll beat it on the first round, which is super inefficient. Um, so you just play it like this 
And I think, no, nah, no, nah, I got 67, 45 points with eight reward per mint. Um, yeah. So it's super easy to play solo. Just go through, beat it, get a whole bunch of points, fill up your water buckets at the end here, and then you click on that guy to leave. Uh, biggest thing you gotta watch out for is if you get hit by a wave or you get hit by a fire, you're basically done for. It's really hard to beat if that happens because you lose your items, you gotta go back and get a, go back down to fish, you lose all your fish. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not so fun when that happens, but that shouldn't happen too much if you're focused on it not dealing with other people getting in the way throwing running around just fucking dicking around um but yeah super easy uh and right here we're gonna get into the drawing i had 135 points uh when i recorded that so we're gonna we're gonna go do that now some temporos kills right that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna redeem some of these points i have 131 permits i have a, a kill count of up, up. Whoops, I'm actually so stupid. Temporos. 39, I killed it 39 times. So a lot of times I didn't get eight points Um, because just recently uh, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do the solo. I wanna see what happens if you skip the first round. I tried to do, I tried to skip like more than three rounds. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could go a lot of rounds, but no. The, the most points you can get is probably around 7,000. You have to have really good RNG for that. Uh, so we're just gonna see what I get. And this, okay. So, let's see. I'm gonna open these caskets. Ruby necklace, cut chains. We're gonna see how much we earned. 350k, not bad. That's not bad, 350k is not bad. Uh, it's, it's not bad for a skilling boss. So that was my quick little tutorial for a solo Temporos run uh, for a decent amount of points not the max you can get because i don't feel like doing that but um eight points every time easy peasy i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the bell notifications and i'll catch you in the next one wake up to reality nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world the longer you live the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility.